Hey LinkedIn user and YouTube, this is Francis again from Exosystems. Hope you're doing fine. Today I have the pleasure to have Brian Monroe. He's the business development manager at Zebra for Evanti Products, and he works out of Stony Creek, close close to Hamilton, Ontario. Good morning, uh, Brian. Good morning, Francis. How are you today? Very good. How do you cope with the uh, quarantine? What has changed in your work in the last uh, few months? Well, I mean, I was already accustomed to working from home, but I've always had the option of working in the office too. Yeah. Um, the isolation has taken some toll on us all, clearly. I mean, we're, we're unable to visit clients and partners, which is really my favorite way to work. Right. I also miss having lunch meetings with colleagues and, and customers in, in restaurants. Right. Um, the, the, one, the one really good thing though, Francis, is that um, it's typically a little easier to locate people that you're, that you're trying to speak to. Right. We know Zebra technology, but what's your uh, what is uh, what is it that you're doing at Zebra and Ivan T Wavelink? Okay, well, uh, I'm responsible for product management and business development management of Ivanti Wavelink products within the Zebra product line. So I I work with distribution, I work with uh, partners, and I also work with end users to evangelize about the value of these products within the uh, supply chain vertical market. Right. Uh, some, some examples of uh, of products that uh, we're talking about are uh, the the Velocity client, which is referred to as All Touch Terminal em Emulation within Zebra, which is a uh, very intelligent uh, Telnet client with uh, some very cool modernization features. Uh, so that, that's a, a prime example of products, and then the legacy products like the Telnet client that ran on uh, old legacy devices like Windows Mobile and CE. Hey, uh, I'm not a storyteller, you're not a storyteller, but what's your take, what's your input on the economy in the next 12 to 18 months? Well, actually, you know, that, that's, a, that's a really good question because I don't think anyone really knows how things are going to change in this new normal. I mean, I suspect that the economy is going to maintain a much lower level and right. stay there until a vaccine is actually created and available. I think that the need to social distance will continue to have an impact on the ability to maintain sales levels in many different vertical markets, especially where hospitality and entertainment sectors are concerned. Right. I think that the supply chain services will continue to flourish, but they will still have issues uh, with the transportation process uh, to function optimally, delaying deliver uh, deliveries and uh, until the pandemic is actually over. We, we had a, a before COVID and now we have a with COVID. It's That's a new right. reality, the new normal. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's, uh, could you share with us what's new and exciting with uh, Zebra and Iw Ivanti Waveling this year? Well, well, I can tell you that Zebra always has new products that are coming down the pike and Ivanti products are definitely part of those uh, solutions. Zebra is, is always looking for new ways to show innovation that can equate to savings. Right. Um, within the supply chain, there is a need to be able to do more things faster using the same amount of resources. Uh, both Zebra and Avanti have, have really great products that give our clients uh, ways to improve efficiency from breathing new life into a character-based Telnet application and make them easier to interpret uh, to voice-based systems uh, to limit the amount of interaction that a, a user needs to have with a device's screen or keyboard. Correct. And this all equates to a, a faster warehouse transaction and more accurate picking experience. Um, the, the, the one thing that I will always highlight when I'm talking about all touch terminal emulation or velocity is how easy it is to make the transition from Windows embedded and Windows CE devices to Android using the Rapid Zebra website, which is rapidzebra.ivanti.com. And you use that to move old configurations to new devices in a few minutes and using Zebra Stage Now barcodes to set those devices up in, in literally seconds. And the ability to modernize old green screen environments to graphical Android style interfaces or even to convert WMS interfaces to voice-driven solutions in that same short window of time. Right. And I would encourage, Francis, I would encourage your clients to actually look at that site just to see what it is that I'm talking about. 
Well, actually, we're going to put the uh, this link in the uh, description. So, uh, and we invite all of our customers or anyone who wants to get more information to contact either yourself, Brian, or myself, and we'll make sure to uh, reach out to you. Hey, Brian, any advice you want to give to our Canadian customers uh, during the, that pandemic? For clients that are struggling through this time, uh, I would suggest that you continue to take advantage of any government assistance programs that you qualify for. Continue to find ways to reinvent your business in order to develop new pathways to sell your products to new and existing clients. Um, think of COVID-19 pandemic as an opportunity to be innovative, right. uh, to offer a new product or service that uh, that you couldn't consider before, but, but makes more sense today. Um, mm -hmm. This could push your company into a, a completely different direction or it could just in, enhance the things that you actually do today. Hey, right. Brian, that's that's all the time we have, but I keep my the, my last questions for the end. What's your, uh, what Netflix series did you watch in the last uh, 30 days? Let's see, Netflix series. Oh man, you're catching me off guard. I, I tend to watch a lot of these different shows. I've been watching, um, I don't think it's on Netflix, but I've been watching that, uh, that show uh, Upload, have you, have you seen this? No. Nope. The, the folks that create uh, the uh, um, Parks and Recreation and, and a couple of other shows. Right, right. And it, what it's about is um, uh, about a character who who uh, passes away, but the, the technology has been so advanced that people have the ability to purchase kind of an online afterlife so instead of them dying, they actually take their consciousness and they they upload it into a into a, uh, a kind of a heaven-like environment where uh, people can live. But uh, but they have to have a like a plan, so they have to pay for the use of this service. And he's been uploaded by his girlfriend, so so he has to ask every time he wants to purchase anything. So, <laughs> so everything's extra. So it's very interesting, and it's. Uh, so that's what we, what I've been watching. The people keep keep asking me, Brian, what is Brian doing over the weekend for fun? <laughs> oh well, I can tell you that there there are a few things that I like to do. Um, one one of my favorite things is participating in different uh, aspects of am, amateur theater. But um, because the uh, the pandemic has virtually eliminated the ability to perform these shows, uh, I haven't been able to do that. I had a, a plan to direct the show in the next little while, but now that uh, that we can't congregate the way that we have in the past, it has literally put those uh, those opportunities on hold. So I can't direct and I can't perform on stage. So I I have to resort to uh, doing things like playing my guitar, um, you know, banging out a song when I when I feel like singing, uh, or spending some time in in my backyard here where uh, uh, my little Shangri La. Where we just enjoy ourselves with our with our family right. and our, our dogs. Talking at, talking about music, who's your uh, and we're the same age, so I know I know you pretty well. Who's your uh, favorite musical artist? Well, it's 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 always tough to put a finger on because there's so many artists that I've that I've liked over the years, and I, I find that it changes as as time goes on. Um, I've always been a huge Pink Floyd fan, and uh, that never seems to change. But I really like artists like Neil Young, uh, I like Talking Heads and R.E.M. and uh, a bunch of different bands from the 80s as well. You and I share that that aspect of, uh, of yeah. uh, music for sure. Uh, so so that's probably not a big secret to you. One last question, Brian, and this, this is probably the most important one. Did you wash your hands before this interview? I wash my hands constantly. I get in my car, I go to Tim Hortons to get a coffee. I get back, I wash my hands. I wash the devices or everything that I touched all the way through the process. So I'm I'm being very good at washing my hands, Francis. Hey, Brian Monroe from Zebra Technology with the uh, Evanti Wavelink division. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, I, again, we're inviting our customers or people to click on the link to get some information to how to transform their screens and uh, if you need to reach to us, uh, please do. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Thank you for the time.